Without further ado then, let's just dive right on into this and see what our Orby boy can do for us today. Let me update our street command here. Good job, Silent. Let's see, am I taking a common relic or do I feel like I want a boss swap? Stell, thank you so much for the very generous five gifted subs. Welcome on into the cozy sub club, everybody. You know what? I want to swap my boss relic. I think it is best on the defect. And it's best of all when this happens. When you get a Pandora's box and suddenly your deck is two glaciers in an echo form. Seems okay. Love this recycle, by the way. And there's even a claw. What an absolutely astoundingly high roll of a start. Let's see what we can do with it, shall we? Go to the shop and remove something. What would I remove from this? I actually dig this Amplify. Deck definitely wants some, I would remove Zap. Deck uh, definitely wants some upgrades. Upgrade Amplify, or no, upgrade Recycle, upgrade Loop, upgrade Barrage. Definitely upgrade Recycle. But then again, sometimes this is our turn one. And that doesn't make me feel very good. No, I don't like that. Recycle upgrades to be zero cost, that is correct. A claw! Wait, you're not dead? Is this a Blizzard deck? Yes, actually. I think Blizzard and Echo Form go pretty well together. Not usually a huge Blizzard advocate, but this would be the time to do it. good. Streamline is also decent here. Just the hologram. Get a card from the discard pile, put it into our hand. Recycle Glacier. Amplify. Echo form. This cultist is so screwed. Poor guy. Double recycle. A claw. Hmm. I mean, the defrag is really good. What claw? A claw. A claw. He did it, the madman. So why did I pick the claw? Well, partially for the claw meme, but also because I think claw is a decent, decent zero cost attack to pay to pay uh, to pair with a small deck of cards, and it's good to pair with frost orbs too. So I think it's genuinely decent here. Not amazing, but decent. And if we can get a skim or a cool headed, it'll be better than decent. Snap. Mm, I don't think I need any of this. Sunder could be nice, but I'm gonna say no. Sunder would have been really nice, actually. Okay. Well, heck. Not playing Echo Form turn one there. No way, no how.
If you wouldn't have been able to resist Cinder there, I can't call you wrong, especially with how this fight is currently going and with how much Cinder would have helped. When you start building a claw deck, claw goes really good with sources of card draw or being able to get cards back into your hands. So claw is great with holograms, with cool headeds, with skims, with scrapes. Finding any or all of these in your early game can really help. For example, here I'm going to take this cool headed and we can start drawing claws like crazy if we do that. I think I'm going to go this way. Upgrade, fight an elite. But we should be pretty good against elite no matter what happens. Upgrade the recycle? Question mark? Let's see what's in the store. I want to buy a potion. Oh my god, prismatic shard. <laughs> All for one is here. All for one is pretty insane. With this deck of cards. Wow. All for one puts all zero cost cards from the discard pile into our hand. That can also include recycle if upgraded. And there's a lot of cool ways to go in this store. Storm white noise could be fun. Prismatic shard could be fun. Card removal could could lead to fun. Could end up upgrading zap. I also like upgrading dual cast maybe with the uh, all for one upgrade. Or with the all for one take. I am going to take all for one. It's going to be so powerful. Unlimited power. Itty bitty living space. All right, please don't kill me, Gremlin Dog. Good. Question mark. Ow. That's why I can rest. Next turn should be fine. Yes, officer, that one right there. If I all for one, I'll get back claw claw recycle. That lets me recycle echo form. And continue the cycle there. It's got to be worth it. And I can all for one again. Oh, even better. Okay. All for one here. Claw. Claw. Recycle the echo form. Hologram the all for one. Play the all for one again. Claw. Claw. Cool-headed. Claw. All for one. Claw. Okay. And the deck is starting to work now. Get a Darkstone Periap. Not exactly my idea of a good first relic. An attack potion makes us a lot safer against our next elite. And... A claw. Sure. I'll take the third one. How many claws is too many, you might ask? Four is usually my stopping point. But this is going to go real well. From the looks of it. None. None claws is too many. Alright, I don't think I want to lose immediately, so I will, I will opt to sleep one time. Even though we could reasonably get away without it. I'll keep going this way. One more dark Darkstone Periat. I mean, I still take it. This deck does not want curses. But uh, that's kind of a sad first two relics. Robots can sleep? Yes, they dream of electric sheep when they do. Don't play that one. Kind 
of deck is okay with curses. Decks that are okay with curses are those that have a lot of draw and or discard. Those that can... Um, that can avoid... Ending up with nothing to do on their turn, even if there are curses in the deck. And ideally those that are receiving some kind of incentive for the curses as well. So something with a Duvu doll or a Puriapt, where you get something for the curse. Okay, I think we've mostly got the cards we want here. Heat sinks theoretically could do stuff, but I think it's a little too early. Or is it? Hmm. Actually, wait. Screw it. Give me that. Let's start with an upgrade on the hologram. But there's going to be a lot of stuff I'd like to upgrade from here on out. Do I just echo form? I think I do. Just echo form. Turn one against knob. Okay. Sure. Good luck to us. Echo farming the claw does scale all the other claws quickly. Attack potion could certainly bail us out with a meteor strike or something. This turn I'm thinking we just full block and uh, double claw. Something like this. All right, now what do we draw? One claw and the all for one. So let's do some math. If I double cool headed, I guarantee draw the Ascender's Bane and the claw. That would let me claw two times, then all for one, then claw three times. I'm pretty sure that's a kill. That would be 9 plus 11, plus 13, 15, 17, plus 10 from all for one, 75 damage? 75 damage, but we also get back the recycle, so I can recycle the barrage to play Zap or vice versa. Okay, thank goodness. We have to echo from the cool headed, though. Bye. All right, no need to use either potion as it turns out. Get ourselves a bag of marbles and what's that? A second echo form. Interesting. I tend to think that two echo forms are better than one. Man, this could have been a hell of a cool storm, uh, storm deck too. But yeah, I'll take a second echo. With two echoes, you can echo your echo. And that can get very, very, very... Very silly. Might even take a Sneko Eye, despite the claws. You heard me. Snap is takeable, but unnecessary. Deck mostly just wants more card draw now. Upgrading Cool Headed looks pretty good. A little too early to upgrade Heat Sinks. Upgrading Dual Cast is also an option, but I think I prefer to upgrade my Cool Headed first. Purple Fire Spirits! We offer a card from the deck. Depending on what we offer, we gain rewards based on the rarity. Give up a starter card, get nothing. Give up a common card, gain 5 health. Give up an uncommon card, get a full heal. 
or if you give up a rare card, something with a yellow border, we'll get a full heal and 10 health. And I'm sorry, Amplify. Your time is at an end. Flames burst, nearly knocking you off your feet as the fire doubles in strength. Spirits dance around you excitedly before merging into your form, filling you with warmth and strength. Powers. Quite how I wanted the turn to go, but it worked out. Just get rid of everything that isn't a claw. Pretty much. Oh yeah. Rest in pieces, dear guardian. GG. Electrodynamics, that's for people who have lightning orbs. That's not us. Rainbow is a lightning orb. We don't care about that. Multicast evokes an orb multiple times. I don't think we care about that either. Pretty much all we care about is drawing claw more often and blocking. And none of these help us do either of those things. So, feels like a skip to me. Oh man, Pyramid is filthy good with all for one. I will happily take a Runic Pyramid. At the end of our turn, we no longer discard our hand, and the ultimate clawing can really begin. Pyramid makes it way easier to recycle stuff we don't want. Way, way easier. There's still upgrades we value, so I'm not interested in the Fusion Hammer. I like the upgrade on Heat Sinks. Maybe now that we have uh, Echo uh, Pyramid, I might even upgrade one of the Echo Forms. Da, da, da. Gonna be Carter moving time. Ow! Easy. We'll put a higher emphasis on playing the Echo Forms in longer fights. I love this, uh, love this capacitor to give us lots of orb slots for our Frost Orbs. Any source of focus in addition to this is going to take us to the next level here. And a free Warp Songs. Upgrade a random card in hand every turn forever. With our Omomori blocking the stinky curse that that would have applied. There's the focus gain, defrag. Also a chemical X, but I didn't take any of our X cost cards. I'll take that defrag. And we'll remove a zap. Nothing but frost orbs for me, thank you. And now we're basically going to destroy everything. Easy peasy like.
A claw. Hologram? Eh, without an upgrade, I'm not interested. I think we can skip almost every card we see from here on out. Our deck is almost finished. I mean that. This deck almost beats heart. Almost. No. We'd like a self-repair, though. Or maybe a bit more front-loaded block. That algorithm would have been nice, too. Recursion Plus. Actually, it was pretty good. I think it would have been a, a pretty reasonable inclusion. Main problem with the Recursion is it's not that much block until we're set up. And once we're set up, we don't need the block anymore. I'd much rather have something like... a Leap or a Charge Battery, I think. Kind of curious. Well, or a Chill. Zero cost uh, Frost would be nice. Okay. Or uh, actually a boot sequence would be maybe even the best. Guaranteed turn one block. Because that is currently what is big time lacking for us. circumstances do I upgrade Echo Form only ever with Runic Pyramid? Personally. So this would be the time. The Warp Tongues are doing an okay job of making me kind of feel like I upgraded one of them, though. Or Consume. That's another way to get lots of focus for this deck. We have a Loop, we have a Capacitor. I think Consume finishes the job here. Are we too low on block if I do that? Maybe. I think I should skip it for now. Beam Cell is also nice for damage. Comes back with the all for one, too. Skip that, too. So Aaron Chakra asks, general strategy if you start with ectoplasm. Big problem with ectoplasm is a lack of availability for card removals. And the big thing you can do about it is add cards that draw cards. And you can also... Oh my. You can add cards that draw cards, and you can also look for boss relics that can help you remove cards. So looking for Pandora's Box to get rid of all your strikes and defends, Astrolabe, or... Um, what's the third option? The Empty Cage are all pretty good. Alright, feeling like we have successfully set up here.
Easy. Ice cream lets us save energy from turn to turn. That's pretty incredible. I don't feel like I need a core surge. Definitely live ice cream, though. It's going to make it a lot easier to play our... Uh, Echo Forms. I don't think we want a Sundial. Although the deck could certainly make use of the energy from the Sundial. By the time we're able to do so, I don't think it matters. Let's take the blue key. Pretty much what we want our turn one to be all the time. Just play, play Echo Form for free. Pass the turn. Turbo. I think we want it. I think this deck can absolutely make use of Turbo. It's not our favorite uh, energy option, but it'll definitely do, and it comes back with all for one. Hmm. I don't have unceasing top or anything. Okay, I'll use the explosive version. Done yet? Sunny? Give me second echo. So with Echo Form in play, when you play the second echo, your next two cards that turn will also be doubled. It's pretty dang importante. Though how do I avoid... I don't have to necessarily. So let's double heat sinks. I could double deep reg as well. Let's do that too. Awkward with all the voids in the draw pile here. Thankfully, not. Oh, that's right. Smiling Mask makes for cheap removals at stores. That's extremely good. Seek lets us pull anything out of the draw pile. That's extremely good. There's also a Blizzard here, and that's a genuinely not bad Blizzard. If we weren't doing the Claw thing, I think Blizzard would be an incredible way to scale this deck for the late game, but quite frankly, the Claws will do. 
We don't need both Blizzard and Claws. So I'm taking a seek. And it's time to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Ouch, my face. Uh-oh, you lose. You spot him readying a shiv. You slash at the crazy gremlin, but he's simply too quick. He gets you a few times with a crude shiv. The price has been paid. Ow. Kind of tempting to go to his store here, but I would like to keep upgrading cards. Seek in particular. But also heat sinks. You want a stab! Huzzah! Might be a dangerous fight to go into, actually. Hmm, a little bit, yeah. Definitely a little bit. Thirteen plus. Thirteen plus thirteen. Yes, that's a kill without even using the attack potion. I'll use the attack potion regardless, because who knows what it'll give me. You never know what you're going to find. Alright, good fight. Ow? There's that boot sequence I've been asking for, and I am going to take it. I think that's going to help a lot with our problematic turn ones. Just 10 block on turn one, we can retain it if we don't need it. Feels good. Alright, poor champ is not going to know what hit him here. Gonna be a lot of claws, that's what's gonna hit him. Okay, only one echo form this fight, that's fine by me. For one, barrage, turbo, all for one, all for one, claw, claw, claw. Not a bad turn. One claw, claw, claw. Easy. A claw. A claw. Well, that went well. We could take Amplify back if we felt the need. Mostly with two Echo Forms, it doesn't feel like we have the need. But it can definitely do stuff some of the time. More card draw for machine learning could be a thing. Mostly feels pretty skippable here. All of the above. Pretty skippable to me. I'll take nothing. Hmm. Calling Bell could give us three relics essentially for free here. One common, one uncommon, one rare. That said, I do like more energy per turn in boss and elite fights via the Slaver's Caller. Helps get those Echo Forms in play. And we might find another use for the Omomori in Act 3. It's a tempting Calling Bell. 
I really do want more energy, though. Benizul, thank you so much for the Baylor's dozen, the lucky 13 months. Phylostone, relatively free. Relatively free. I think the Slaver's Caller is even more free, for the most part. And that's what I'm going to choose here. Hey, hey, everyone. Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get all access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel to do what I love every day. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. Do you get max HP from the Culling Bell with the Dark Stone? No, because the, if the curse is prevented, we do not gain the thingy, alas. Gotta go to Burning Elite here, okay. I think I'll path through one store. We can actually lose Barrage, sad as it sounds. Barrage is not a relevant part of this deck's damage. What happens if you Madness two All-For-Ones? That is an infinite combo, and a good one. It's a good infinite combo. Potion's pretty good. Don't really feel the need for a leap or a rebound. The deck is small enough as it is. That's right, if you hologram a void, you don't lose any energy because you didn't draw it. Technically speaking. Dolly's Mirror here allows us to duplicate any card in the deck. Definitely thinking about Seek Plus getting duped. Could also mirror out an echo form to get one more. Seek is probably the easy choice, though. Ah. Spoon does not work on ethereal cards. That's right. Ethereal cards will always exhaust if they're in your hand at the end of turn. We ever want another all for one? Mostly we'd prefer a hologram so that I can just hologram the all for one again. Ah. So I would I would dupe hologram before I would dupe all for one. And I'm gonna dupe seek before I would dupe hologram. No madness here, right? Purity is here. Alright, Barrage, you're out. Second seek, you're in. 100 gold left, we won't use. Ow. Hm. Could've gone worse, but it could've gone better. Claw, hollow claw is pretty fine. Yeah, that'll work.
Ooh. Hologram Plus versus Claw number two. Or Claw number four. Hologram Plus number two versus Claw number four. There we go. I want the hologram, I think. A hologram lets me play the claw more often, quite frankly. But we will be taking a fourth claw before this run is over. I guarantee it. You will cast, you're also gone. Spanky boy. Scrape a bait in these kinds of decks? No, actually, Scrape is pretty good in this particular situation. You can use the holograms to get uh, the s even non-zero cost cards that you discard. You can get them back into your hand, which is really valuable. So no, it's not a bad thing at all. Need to remove my hand here. So we can use the holograms to return the all for one multiple times, each time getting a lot of claws played. Cycle. If we weren't doing Frost Orbs, her program would actually be okay here. I don't think we need two recycles. Onwards. Almost time for our Burning Elite. Let's get Loop upgraded. We could also start to think about upgrading the Echo Forms, as previously mentioned. Perfect. I think. Get me. Give me one. For seek. Oh, I can do this this way, right? Easy. Turbo, double hologram. If you duplicate hologram, you can use the hologram to get itself back into, into your hand, which is quite nice. Oh, I don't have heat sinks in play. Whoops. My bad. Thought I had heat sinks down. Foolish. No worries. Uh, followers only mode should work perfectly for countering that sort of thing. This is he. I threw it on before the emote mode kicked in there. I imagine that's probably the best way to go to let chat have some amount of freedom without any stinky intrusions. Oh, 
do we call now? That way I have more, uh, more freedom. Two more elites this act. Let's go. First up, frozen egg. Any future powers are upgraded. Good. I could take a full heal for relatively free here, or we can fight a boss to gain a rare relic. Last but not least, we could upgrade all in exchange for not being able to heal, but all the important stuff is upgraded. And we have Warp Tongue, so I'll take the boss fight. Death to the heretic! Thank you so much, Valor, for the 100 bits. Die, heretic. Poor Slime Boss gonna have a really bad time. Crush? No, slime, get crushed. GG. 300 additional gold, a fear potion, and a skip are the rewards. Did echo form after heat sinks there, just in case drawing the second echo form. That way I don't lose it. Actually keep our deck free of burns almost. Genuinely. Look at this. What burns? Potion Belt is excellent. Two more potion slots to carry to the hearts. Notably, this ancient potion, which will block vulnerable from hearts. Very happy to see that. I'm pretty sure this deck can kill transients. Uh, maybe. Or it could just get absolutely smashed on turn one. Is apparently the other option. Ow. Dear. Didn't draw a singular claw, huh? Hmm. Okay. There we go. Now everything is fine. Hologram. All for one.
Just got to be careful here. Turbo, Hologram, all for one. Claw, claw, claw. 400 damage that turn. A similar turn will result in a kill here. Easy peasy. GG, Transient. Dead. Blizzard Blues. A little tempting, but definitely unnecessary. Deck is too small for this aggregate to actually be good. The turbo is genuinely a better energy card. Go figure. Not often that I'll say that. I wonder if this deck is resting. Let's upgrade one echo form. I might rest at the second fire here. Turbo, Hologram, the all for one. All for one. Claw, claw, claw. Turbo, Hologram, the all for one. All for one. Oh, what's that? We already won? Dang. Second cool head, it's very reasonable here. Especially with an upgrade on it. The second uh, cool headed, and then I'll just rest. Got the warp tongues after all. Okay, the awakened one. Now, this could be a bit of a challenge here. This boss does gain strength whenever we play a power card. Not one, but two points of strength. It means I'll probably only play one echo form. Duplicating the echo form seems a little unnecessary. You know? But I will play one. Bit of a hit here, but this should be the only damage I need to take. I would imagine. Thank you. 
a claw. GG, nerd. Who's next? Time Slug. Time Slug limits our cards per turn, but we'll find that that's not a problem either. Wait. Easy. Tim Eater. Your days are numbered. Okay, this hurts a bit. now. And the Timeter was dead. GG. All right, another big boss down. We're on to Act 4. Two thump, two thump, two thump. Deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this clawing dread? What do you feel in your bones? Thirteen health per rest. I think that's pretty reasonable. Warp Tongues does the upgrading for us, after all. And I have five hundred gold for this store. Ooh, we have to buy bag of preparation. Two more cards on turn one. A little late for the self repair, unfortunately. I love a second focus potion, probably more than I like a fear potion. I like. Actually, there's nothing in this deck I want to remove anymore. I guess I like the toolbox. Could take a go for the eyes. That could be a way to apply weaken. And that would be pretty good. Although it'd be my only debuffing card. It's still pretty good with, with uh, all for one. Feels a little unnecessary. I think I'm going to opt out. Of adding the card. Of adding any cards. And I'm even going to opt out of removing a card. We're just going to go with what we have. Toolbox bad with a perfect deck? Well, the Toolbox can always give single-time good cards like a master strategy here for just more draw. And, well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Double what? Defrag? Oh, 
these cards for now. This too. Yeah, I'll double defrag here. Probably gonna recycle that echo form. In fact, I'll seek for it so I can. Exactly full block. Perfect. Calculated it myself. It's a claw time. More claw time. We win! White Beast Statue's here to give us a potion after the heart's dead, and what's that? Echo form number three? Sure. Three claws, three echo forms. You'd love to see it. But Ash is also pretty hilarious here. These are both very good. Madness could create an infinite, though. Yes! It's happening. No Tornithopter rights. That's right. what I want in my hand at the start of next turn, other than the second form that I'm duplicating. It's gotta be double glacier, double deep rag, probably. Good. is not in play, but I can make this all for one free? I can. Only if I destroy one of these cards. Guess I'll destroy Capacitor to make it a free all for one. That's gotta be worth it. Tumbo Steel, thank you so much for the Prime sub and the full year of support. Appreciate you being here. Alright, five Echo Forms. That is a lot of echoing. Echo, Echo. Oh god. 
Cards doubled. Three cards doubled. Four. Five. Well, that's a GG. If ever I've seen one, Mr. Hart. Perfect fight. Maybe a little excessive. GG! Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.